Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medicos Hub. In this video, I am going to discuss some other chemical properties of monosaccharides like oxidation, reduction, dehydration and acidification. First of all, I will discuss the oxidation. If terminal aldehyde or ketone group or hydroxyl group or both are oxidized, then sugar acids are formed. For example, if I am taking D-glucose, This is D-glucose. In D-glucose, if aldehyde group is oxidized, then it will result in formation of gluconic acid. And if in D-glucose, terminal CH2H group is oxidized, then it will result in formation of glucuronic acid. Next is reduction. If aldehyde or ketone group is reduced by reducing agents like sodium amalgam, then alcohol, sugar alcohols are formed. For example, if D glucose is taken, then it can be reduced to D sorbitol. If D mannose is taken, then it can be reduced to D mannitol. If D fructose is taken, it is, it, uh, it is reduced to D sorbitol and D mannitol. If D galactose is taken, it is reduced to D dulcitol. If D ribose is taken, then it can be reduced to D ribitol. Next is dehydration. When sugars are heated with mineral acids like H2SO4 or HCl, sugar loses the water to form furfurals. Furfurals are basically formyl group. Uh, these are compounds in which formyl group is attached to the second carbon of furan ring. These can be condensed with alpha naphthol thymol and or resorcinol to produce color complexes and this is the basis of Molish test or the test like Selvinoff test. Now the last one is esterification. When carbohydrates are esterified with uh, acids like phosphoric acid then glucose is phosphate, glucose 1 phosphate like compounds are formed which can enter the further metabolic reactions. So these are the chemical properties of monosaccharides. Hit the like button, share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications.